Sir V. S. Naipaul is a uh, Nobel laureate, the first, the only Nobel laureate that we have here at McFarland Library. We acquired his papers, including his life archive, which means we will still get some papers even after his death. We have the drafts of all of his works and his correspondence and, and just about everything about him that, that is on paper that he has written or uh, in some way had a hand in. Uh, he's considered one of the foremost fiction writers in the world in the 20th century, uh, which is why he's a Nobel laureate. Uh, ironically, it was one of his first novels, uh, A House for Mr. Biswas, which was published in 1961, that is considered one of the top 100 English language books of the 20th century. We have the Andre Deutsch papers, which are the papers of Naipaul's publisher between 1950 and 1970, so the publisher who was covering many of his great books. Naipaul was very close to Diana Athill, who was one of the great editors uh, and who was at Deutsch and was his editor. She says of him, you know, I didn't have to work hard on his books because they were so good. What I had to work on was his psyche. I had to keep him from going into despair when he finished a novel because he thought it was so imperfect and unsatisfactory and he didn't know whether he should go on. Uh, and providing that sort of interaction or understanding that sort of interaction with an author is one part of understanding how authorship is social. The collection is unique because it is his entire life archive and that's, that's a unique experience for many collections. Uh, for, for writers of the caliber and the reputation of someone like Naipaul, those collections typically don't all go to one place. Naipaul being a sort of curmudgeon, I think, uh, which was a, a role that he had more or less perfected, but that was by no means the sum total of his attitudes, you know, just, just got an impression of a, of a slightly haughty man with a wicked sense of humor um, and maybe quite a bit of warmth underneath there somewhere.